Playing contemporary Christian music, or what is known as a CCM, can sometimes get a little bit monotonous and stale, so to speak, because there's not a lot of chords, and so you kind of run out of ideas as to what to do with them. And as a gospel musician, you can't really rely on passing chords and all of that fancy stuff to bring life into the music. So what I always do is add rhythms. Take the same chords and just add cool cross polyphonic rhythms, broken left hand arpeggios. You can do wonders with that stuff. And so today I'm going to give you some ideas as to how you can begin to incorporate some of these rhythmic ideas in any CCM song to bring them to life so you don't have to rely on the crutch of gospel passing chords. All right, so stay tuned. Welcome back to the program, folks. My name is Warren McPherson. If you're new to the channel, the founder of PianoLessonWithWarren.com, where we teach gospel musicians how to play piano by ear. And we also do the same thing over here on YouTube, right? So if you love this content and you want more, be sure to hit the subscribe and the like button so you can be notified when we post weekly content. Today, we're going to take a look at the Pour My Oil by Legacy Nashville Music. I'm just going to take the chorus, not the entire song. I love the song. Beautiful. A lot of little things going on. And I'm going to show you how I incorporate rhythm into this song. And these ideas are meant to be transferable. So you can use them across multiple songs, multiple keys, right? It's not key specific. So let's look at the basic version of the song with the chords. And then I'm going to go in and show you how you can add a little bit more rhythmic interest to it. Right. So the song, the original is in the key of E flat major. So I'm going to play it also in E flat major. So if we jump to the chorus where it goes, take all I have, it's all yours anyway. I know it not much. God, you're my everything. I pour my all on you. I pour my all on you. Doesn't matter the cost. Jesus, you're worthy of every last drop. Here is my offering. I pour my all on you. I pour my oil on you. So that's the basic chords for the song. That's the chorus, right? Beautiful. And just quickly, if you're not familiar with the song, I'm going to just show you the chords that I'm playing so that you can replicate it on your own. So we start with that E flat. Take all I have, it's all yours anyways. Now we go to this kind of five sus and then resolve it. Now you can play it a few ways. You can, you know, the melody's on this G, right? So that's why I played the G, but you can just go straight and play this a B flat suspension right here, the five chord, right? Doesn't matter the cost. And then you resolve to the five chord, right? Let's do it again. Take all I have, it's all yours anyway. I know it's not much, but God is my everything I pour. So I'm slipping in this little, this diminished seven chord right here. It's used, I think, once or twice in the original song, but it, you can actually use it every time because I think it's a pretty cool chord. So once you come here and you resolve to that one, then you can just use this as a passing on the word everything. God is my everything. Then we go to the C minor seven. I pour my oil on. I like to play the melody here. Pour my oil on you. All that's really just happening over a C minor seven. And then it goes to the four chord, the A flat, and the same melody happens. I pour my oil, then a sus on you. So those are really all the chords we're working with, right? So then I take it from there, and I like to put some broken rhythms to it. So, you know...
I just did a lot there. So we're going to take it piece by piece now and look into it. So one of the first thing I'm doing, the left hand's really driving this. Do you struggle with these three crucial questions? What to practice, how to practice effectively, and when to move on to the next level? Without clear answers, progress is slow and frustrating. This is why I created PianoLessonWithWarren.com, a structured program tailored for gospel pianists, guiding you from beginner to advance seamlessly. At every step, you'll know exactly what to practice, how to practice it, and when to advance. Join thousands of successful students worldwide who have achieved their musical goals with my proven method. Visit PianoListenWithWarren.com and start your seven-day free trial today. So I'm doing this in that left hand. That's the basic idea. One, five, one, four. Switch to finger four. Play that triad and then Back to that open, E flat, B flat, E flat, then E flat, G, B flat, E flat, B flat, E flat. So that's, now I can do this all up uh, down the piano, and I'm doing it under one pedal. So the pedal's down for the entire duration. And you can determine how far you go. Now, side note, a lot of the stuff that I'm showing you here, you don't need to learn it verbatim. You just need to get the general idea of what I'm doing and then you can go and explore it. Because how far I go with that left hand determines on what's happening in the right hand. And so that's why I don't want you to drop, fall into the, that, that sort of pit of trying to learn verbatim note for note because my hands are gonna constantly move. So once you have an idea of what's going on, you can tailor that to the song you're playing. So on that first chord, we have take all I have. And the right hand can you just playing that triad, right? So this is what's going on. You want to be counting internally. One, two, three, four. One, two. Three, four. You always want to be counting internally. That's how you're going to know when to change the chord. So let me see if I can do it slowly. Take all I have. It's all yours anyway. I know it's not much. So when I go to that five chord. Right? One, two, three, four. One, Two, right? Two, three, four. The order of the notes really doesn't matter. See, I'm stressing that because a lot of people fall into the verbatim note for note, but they're missing the forest from the trees for the trees, right? See the overall pattern and realize that you can shuffle the notes in any way you want. One more time. Take all I have. It's all yours anyway, I know it's not much But God is my offering, I pour my own So once I get to that Pa Pa Remember that diminish, we're just breaking up the notes Now, I generally like to break my notes up left to right and then back down, left to right. So you got that do 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 da dee do da dun da dum dum dum. That's basically the general idea, right? Now, when I get to the C minor, so you see what I'm doing there? That's what's going on in the left hand. Da, 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 da. That's really what's going on, right? It's like an alternating between the hands. And then from here, kind of just putting this little passing. 
one chord in second inversion, adding that F for the nine, and then that takes me back here to the four and the add nine. And then from here I can go, same thing. Uh, the left hand's just doing this. Then, or, I'm going slow so you can see what I'm doing so you can understand the pattern. And then that takes me back to my E flat. One more time from the top. I'm just gonna hum slightly. So. Right there, I'm slipping in a little passing to take me back to the one. And what I'm doing there, I'm playing the four chord in first inversion, the five chord in first inversion, and I'm adding the C for the nine. You can do that also here. So you can add the nine in all of these major chords, nine, and then that takes you back one. But it's quick, because what we're harmonizing is the word, the or the phrase doesn't matter. Doesn't matter the cost. Jesus, you're worthy of every last drop. Here is my offering. I We talk about a left thing, you can go as far as you want with it. So even on that B flat, I'm doing right, then resolve. It's a very powerful concept and idea that you can really use across multiple songs. Understand the chord first, and then practice just breaking them up slowly. Always doing while well, thinking of the rhythm, so you know when to change, or how far you need to go with that left hand. Right? Let's try it one more time from the top. All I have, it's all yours anyway. I know it's not much. Please I'm going to show you one more little idea of how you can harmonize this. So one of the things I like to do there, let's take it. So we go, you know, um, take all I have, it's all yours anyways. I know it's not much, but God is my everything. I pour my right here. You can go, I pour my own. So you see what I'm doing right there? Nice little what I call it, it adds some polyphonic rhythm, like cross rhythmic idea, because I'm doing uh... all right. So instead of a single melodic note, I'm harmonizing it. So again, we're thinking C minor. It's a C minor seven chord, but I'm playing sort of this rootless C left C minor seven in the right hand. Or you can think of it as an E flat in uh, a first inversion over this shell version of the C minor chord, right? So it's the same chord. And now the melody's here, right? So that's the melody. So all we're doing is harmonizing it.
<laughs> right? So we got this boom. Go up to that F minor, first inversion, back down. Huh? So down to this five chord in second inversion. Then to the F, to the sorry, the C minor in first inversion. And then to the B flat in a first inversion. But I didn't stop there. I kind of keep it going. So. Right? You can practice it nice and slowly before you get to that level, right? But that's a general idea I like to do there, right? So here when I go to this, I'm just thinking E flat going to that four, but the chord keeps moving. Sing it. Um, Drop on a four. Let's do one more time from the top, incorporating these ideas that we talk about up to speed. All right? So we'd go. Take all I have. It's all yours anyways. I know it's not much. But God is my everything, I pour my all on you, I pour my all on you, doesn't matter the cost, Jesus you're worthy of every last drop, here is my offering, I pour my all on you, I pour my all Hard to do singing. <laughs> Melody. having some fun there, but that's just some rhythmic ideas as to how you can take a standard CCM song and how you can just add your own little rhythmic ideas. You notice I didn't have, I don't have a bassist, I don't have a drummer, I'm not relying on any of those other instrumentation to add interest. Just the same chords and just thinking about rhythms differently. How you utilize and cross with them. Now there's more that I can do with that, but we're gonna leave it here for today. So take this, look at the ideas, try to practice some of what I do, understand the concept, and then apply that to the other songs that you're working on. All right, hopefully that was enlightening, entertaining, and educational for you, right? If you like this content, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, the notification bell, and share this with somebody who you think will benefit from this information, all right? And if you want to take your gospel piano playing even further to the next level, I highly recommend you check out pianolessonwithwarren.com. That's my premium membership program where I've been teaching hundreds and hundreds of students from beginner to advanced 
how to play gospel music by ear. The beauty about that program is that it's structured with every single thing you need to do, when to do it, when to move on to the next thing. So you can take the guessing game out of learning gospel piano by ear. So if that's something that interests you, head over there and check it out. We're currently running a seven day free trial on feathered access to the entire program. So you can play around with it, see if it's for you. All right. And if you want to uh, learn more about additional rhythms and stuff like that, check out this video right here where we explore some more CCM type songs with rhythms and chords and all of that stuff. All right. Take care and talk soon.